Hey guys, Gardenish. We had our first good frost overnight and I took some unconventional measures to cover up what I was hoping to try and save. Um, some of them worked and some of them didn't. So I wanna show you exactly what didn't work and exactly what did work. So you can learn from the educational aspect of things here and don't do what I did. That way you don't ruin things that you may not want to ruin yet. Um, we got down to, when I got in the car this morning, I think it was 31 degrees. And that means it probably got down to about 29 over on this low spot where the garden is because it's wide open over here um, we have a little bit of tree coverage but it's not really over the garden it's more outside of my fence so um, I just want to take you around show you what was where and I'll put these pictures up of the pre and what I did and show you what worked and what didn't so let's go check it out So these are the items I used out here. Landscaping fabric because it was a giant roll of just sitting there and I figured well anything's better than nothing. Not when it comes to that cold of temperature because what this was on which is those tomatoes right there it did not work which is okay. I was prepared to lose them and we did and I'm cool with that because I picked what I could last night. It's all right. This bucket five gallon bucket great that did a great job blue tart great job this fitted sheet not a great job and this black tub great job so I'll show you what the things look like that these were all on This is our life. That's one of mine. That is actually mine. Lovely Nick, burning out. That's what we do. All right, so we got our mint. We got our tomatoes over there. They did not fare well with the landscaping fabric that was put over them. These peppers, I didn't even touch them. I didn't even worry about it. This stuff, didn't even touch it, so I wasn't even worried about it. Our Volunteer Mullen looks beautiful. All right, I didn't worry about these jalapenos because I am jalapenoed out. Although they're on here, I am not even gonna deal with these. They're fine. The peppers, the green peppers that I was also worried about and I was hoping to save, all my cell walls exploded. They froze to death. And guess what they froze with on them? The freaking fitted sheet. Don't put a fitted sheet over anything that you know is going to get below 30 degrees. Didn't work. They're so sad. But that's okay. We have to come to an end at some point. The other thing I covered was the apple mint. It looks beautiful. I wanted to save it because we still have flowers on the ends. So I was able to save the apple mint, thank goodness, and that had the blue tarp on it. So blue tarps work, fitted sheets don't. And our lovely lemon balm five gallon bucket worked great. I still can use 
my lemon balm further this year. So. so now that it's starting to get dark out here, I am going to recover the important things that I was able to save last night because it's going to get cold again tonight. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I forgot my lavender survived. All I did was put a trash bag over it, but I guess it's close enough to the house that it was okay. So that's a plus. So I bought these cheap frost covers for my green stalks because I knew I didn't have enough time to order the actual covers that go to them. These look great. These. These fabric frost covers worked great. We got three of them. I'm gonna leave them on. These poor tomatoes are toast. That's okay. No more, uh, no more backyard cherry tomatoes, but that's okay. We've had enough, I guess, this year. Hi, babies. Say hi. I oh, know, Quinny. Hi, Duke. He's a good boy. The last thing I need to show you is my beautiful asparagus. I covered these with the same white frost cover uh, covering that I used on the green stalks. And it worked great. So I'm going to do that again tonight. Throw it over. We will have asparagus continuing to do its asparagus thing so we can hopefully have some to eat next year. Hopefully. It'll be two years next year. We may have to wait one more, but <clears throat> we'll see. And there's a beautiful full moon tonight. <laughs> 